Good morning guys. Dad's finally here. Finally upgraded to 105. I'm just gonna pick up the bike from Merlin Cycles. So let's get in there, get it, get it home and show you what I've done. Oh guys, I finally done it. I finally got the 105 on my D50. Now I might not make it a D50, now I might make it a D30 or a D20 or one of them, whoever's got the 105 on, because everything else is the same. Uh, I just want to go through what I've put on and obviously uh, show you what I've done and what I've changed. So let's start with the crank. This crank is a 5034. I went with the 5034 because it's, it was exactly the same one as the Claris one I had on and obviously it's always done me what I need for speed and stuff. I live in the Lake District so there's no point in putting me a, a, a bigger one on to try and get more speed because I'm, I'm, I'm always uh, 100 metres away from uh, a climb so I went for this, the uh, 5034, uh, the brazed on uh, front derailleur which is uh, the 105, you know, standard uh, derailleur. Then out at the back, I've gone for the medium size to go with the, because I've gone with a 1134 cassette. As you can see there, because obviously the hills around here, I thought I'd go for the, the big one. So I, I've got a good gear there to get up every hill. And hopefully, I can get up every hill now. The whole plan of getting this was so I can uh, sort of like not use the assist as much and just uh, use my own power. And uh, having a good group set, that's why I went for it. So obviously, there's the, uh, it's obviously looks a lot more better quality in the car as you can see that. And I love it's in black because it goes with the rest of the bike. So yeah, so 11.34 cassette. As you can see there, the uh, disc brakes, hopefully you can see that. Let's go around the front one and show you a bit better. So that's a disc brake. I now have hydraulic brakes, which I've never had before. So it'd be interesting to see how I'll get on with them. It's got the old fin this breaks in as well. Apparently they're quite expensive, so you can put the normal ones in when they've, uh, you know, you need to change them. So yeah, I'm quite impressed. I just want to give a big thank out to uh, Merlin Cycles who did this for me. Uh, it probably, I don't think he was expecting the uh, all the wires and all that were going to be integrated into the frame and stuff with the battery and all that. So he wasn't expecting that, but he's done a brilliant job. As you can see, I don't know he's done the wires and got the wires through, but he's managed to re-tape it back with me a beer uh, tape and that. So he's managed to do a really good job on it. I love the feel of the uh, the new uh, levers. They feel really good, really good quality. The, the Claris ones felt a bit plasticky and cheap, but these feel really strong and uh, good quality. You know, I just can't wait to get on it and uh, I'll be taking out tomorrow. So if you can have a look and stay tuned uh, and look out for my video tomorrow for my first ride with my 105 group set. If you've got any questions on the 105, just put it in the comments and uh, obviously check out Merlin Cycles because they've done an absolute brilliant job doing this for me. And, uh, you know, they all, everything I've bought really is from Merlin Cycles, my clothing, uh, my Garmin, stuff like that, and I've always got a good deal on it, you know, uh, my shoes I got, the Physic shoes, they might be £168 and I got them for like £79, you know, they do really good deals on there, so if you check out their website, Merlin Cycles, 
I'll put a link in the description and obviously they do stuff like this as well uh, and it's just amazing what he's done I need to get some new pedals now because they look awful so that's my next thing but uh, anyway thanks for watching look out for my video tomorrow and uh, please subscribe and like the video if you can for me that would be great help and uh, I'll see you on the next video